I'm a personal trainer with over a decade of experience in the fitness world, and I've thoroughly studied Jason Momoa's physical transformation for movies and shows like Aquaman 1 and 2, Conan the Barbarian, and Game of Thrones, and I've extracted his three most powerful fitness secrets that could be exactly what you need to take your fitness to the next level and get jacked like Jason. So listen up. Secret number one, Jason hates working out. Hollywood's second most famous jacked Hawaiian is famous for not stepping foot inside of a conventional gym unless those steps will earn him millions and millions of dollars. I don't touch a weight unless they're paying me to do it. But even when millions of dollars are on the line, he's still not the biggest fan of the gym. Can you show us what your workout looks like? What I like to do is I sit here and I just try to move all these with my mind. Since Jason hates lifting weights, he does everything he can to keep his weightlifting time to a minimum. Way back during his physical prep for Conan the Barbarian, he learned of this circuit training system called AR7, which stands for Accelerated Results 7. AR7 is performed by taking 3-4 to four compound movements and performing them back to back for 7 sets of 7 reps with 7 seconds rest in between each one. Once you're done that, you rest completely before doing the same thing but with 6 sets, 6 reps and 6 seconds and then again you do the same thing Thing, but with five sets, five reps, and five seconds in between each. The idea with this system was that Jason could get his cardio and his weightlifting done at the same time, which is a pretty attractive sales pitch. Less time in the gym means more time to ride motorcycles, drink beer, not at the same time obviously, and fuck. Because we all know Jason fucks. Just look at this guy. But the issue with a system like this is when you're performing so many reps back to back with very little rest, the crazy amount of fatigue on your cardiovascular system is going to limit the kinds of weights you're going to be able to move. And as we all know, the science clearly states that you need to push your muscles within three reps of failure if you actually want them to grow a reasonable amount. We also have research that shows a greater hypertrophy, aka muscle building response, when you give your muscles longer to recover between sets. This is most likely because when your muscles and cardiovascular system are more rested going into a set, you're able to perform more reps at a higher intensity than you could if you went into the set fatigue. So while in theory it sounds like a good idea, in practice, this kind of AR7 plan is just a stone's throw away from not being dumb. But unfortunately, uh, it does not make it and is in fact dumb. But there is a non-dumb version of AR7 that will actually make your training sessions take up a lot less time while still allowing for a great cardiovascular and muscle building workout. It's called peripheral heart action training or PHA training. Well, that's what you call it when you're trying to convince a bunch of people on the internet that you're smart. Uh, let's just call it upper lower supersets. An upper lower superset is when you perform one upper body movement back to back with a lower body movement. So for example, we could superset dumbbell Romanian deadlifts and dumbbell bench press. If we were doing four sets of this, you would perform the dumbbell RDLs, take a quick 15 to 30 second rest to collect yourself, and then you perform the dumbbell bench press before taking a more full rest period of one to two minutes and then repeating the process until you're done all of your sets. The big benefit of training this way is it effectively cuts the amount of time you need to spend at the gym in half since you're performing everything as a superset. Now, of course, since you are carrying some fatigue from set to set, you won't be able to push your muscles as hard as if you're just doing one thing at a time. But even with that being true, you're still able to get 80 to 90% of the gains you could get with a more conventional training program, but in half the time. So it's a pretty good deal. This is why this type of training is perfect for those who want to be lean, athletic, and jacked, and not for those who want to look like Arnold. Also, because you're training the upper body and lower body back to back, you'll be getting a great cardiovascular workout since your heart needs to work hard moving the blood back and forth between different parts of your body. So you're really killing two birds with one stone, maybe even three to four birds if you play your stones right. Now, if you want a fully detailed, free peripheral heart action training program, I'm going to be giving you one that's inspired by Jason Momoa's training over the years at the end of the video, so stick around. Now the main takeaway from all this AR7 and supersetting nonsense is that you don't need to be spending 17 hours a week in the gym in order to look amazing. You know, many guys start training in the gym to get attention from girls only to find out that after years of working out to become dateable, the guys find that they're too busy going on gym dates with their bros to actually find time to get with any women. Now, there's nothing wrong with smooching your homies on the mouth at the gym, but fellas, you gotta leave some time to spread the love around to the ladies too. That's why if you're a busy person or just hate weight training like Jason, you should consider following a three-day week peripheral heart action training plan like the one I'll be giving you at the end of the video. Then you'll become fuckable like our boy Momo while still having time to actually fuck. On top of this, as you might have guessed, Jason isn't really the type of guy to slowly walk on the treadmill for 45 minutes at the gym while watching TLC. No, Jason gets his cardio done by doing fun, badass stuff like boxing, biking, rock climbing, and skateboarding. 
I'm not saying that you need to learn how to do a double ollie kickflip in order to get jacked like Jason, but that would be kind of sick if you did. No, the point is that instead of grinding through a fitness routine that he hated, Jason found ways to get in his cardiovascular work and resistance training that he actually enjoyed, making his routine much easier to stick to in the long run. And that's exactly what you should strive to do if you've been having trouble staying motivated in the gym while following your fitness routine. Find a sport or active hobby that you actively enjoy and mix that together with a three day a week full body weight training routine and you'll be looking great while enjoying every minute of it. Now everybody has that one goal that they're always dreaming about working on, or maybe they're already working on it, but they want to take their efforts to the next level. You know, maybe it's getting into shape, starting that business that you've got a great idea for, starting school part-time so you can increase your earning potential or creating a YouTube channel. But between full-time work, school, or raising a family, you don't have the extra energy or mental bandwidth that you need to actually get somewhere with these goals. That's why I've partnered with Lifestacks, a product that will give you the willpower and energy boost that you need to achieve your loftiest goals. Lifestacks MCT is an energizing coffee creamer packed with nootropics and adaptogens for a daily performance boost. All you have to do is simply add a scoop of Lifestacks to your coffee, mix thoroughly by hand or with a frother and then enjoy as life stacks boost your willpower and energy levels so that you can stop procrastinating and get to work. Using life stacks has been huge for increasing my productivity and my income. Just the other day, I took it in the morning like I have been and I crushed out nine hours of personal training, 90 minutes of video scripting, and an hour long workout all in one day with no problems. It always gives me super smooth and consistent energy throughout the day and I love it. So now to get the energy and focus that you need to start chasing your dreams, click the link in the description of this video or in the pinned comment to try Life Stacks. Right now they're offering a 20 to 25% off discount, but you gotta act fast because this deal won't last forever. So thanks to Life Stacks for sponsoring my channel and now back to the video. Secret number two, he drank beer. You know, now I have a theory that Jason Momoa isn't actually a real person. Instead, I believe he's an industry plant, a character created by the Diego Corporation over two decades ago. He was designed using science to be the world's most badass and manliest man. Now you might be asking, why would they do this, Paris? Well, to sell beer, of course. The Diego Corporation are the creators of Guinness Beer, and it just so happens that Jason is non-stop talking about Guinness. And when he's not talking about Guinness, it's because he's got one in his hand. Logo out, just straight chugging that bitch. <laughs> Oh, that's his. <laughs> that's his. It's his. Good. Give me a Guinness. Like, give me a Guinness. But let's put our tinfoil hats and conspiracy theories aside just for a moment and get back to fitness. Believe it or not, all this beer drinking actually did help Jason get ripped. And that's not because of the magical muscle building properties of Guinness beer. Beer is, in fact, actually pretty terrible for you in a lot of ways, unsurprisingly, but especially for building muscle and losing fat. As it's shown in studies like this one, that both active intoxication and chronic alcohol consumption can negatively impact your body's ability to both repair your existing muscle mass and build new muscle. So from a scientific standpoint, beer definitely wasn't helping Jason build his world famous pecs. But what it was doing was helping Jason stay consistent with his dieting efforts. During his prep for the first Aquaman, Jason pretty much cut out all of his carbs and primarily ate lean meats and veggies along with some healthy fats. A diet like this will definitely help you lose fat at a pretty quick pace, but it still won't happen overnight. You need to follow this type of diet consistently while maintaining a calorie deficit for probably three to six months in order to get really ripped. Now that's a really long time if you're following a diet that makes you fucking hate your life. But that's where the magic of Jason's daily Guinness came in. Um, and I really love beer, so it's... I will not eat a carb all day long. I won't eat carbs. And this is probably the healthiest thing. But you gotta remember, I'm like, I'm away from my wife, I'm away from my kids. I'm eating no carbs. I'm, I'm on some crazy diet. I have to work out in between busting my ass and doing stunts. Yeah. It's, the dog needs a bone. <laughs> And that bonus, some, some Guinness at the end of the night, and I just would like to be able to. See. So, while the rest of Jason's fitness and diet routine was very rigorous and strict, he was allowed a little bit of diet flexibility with his daily dose of the black stuff to keep him sane and on track. Having flexibility in your diet can be a great way to be able to stay on track for the many weeks or months that it takes to actually see results from consistently following a diet plan. Just like with training, you're gonna get a lot more out of following an 80% perfect diet plan consistently for six months than you will from following a 100% perfect diet plan for one to two months. So while planning out your next diet, make sure to sit down and ask yourself, 
if you can realistically see yourself sticking to the guidelines that you set out. And if the answer is no, see where you can add a little bit of flexibility, whether that's a movie night out where you have some popcorn, going out for a drink or two on a Friday night, or ordering in a reasonably sized pizza to share with your significant other. These can be great things to look forward to that can keep you on track during your dieting efforts. Now, if you guys are liking the video and want me to do one covering Tom Holland's training for Spider-Man next, leave a like, subscribe, and comment Spider-Man down below. Secret number three, he took fucking steroids. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. The real number three is he got paid millions of dollars to work out. So like we talked about before, Jason Momoa doesn't lift weights unless some studio is throwing millions of dollars of cash straight at his head. You're facing the wrong way, sir. Ah, all right, give me the money! But is millions of dollars just millions of dollars? Or is it something else? I'll tell you what it is. It's an insanely strong incentive to get into amazing shape. The exact type of motivating factor that keeps people on track and achieving their fitness goals. Now, admittedly, there are probably one or two of you watching this video that don't have a billion dollar studio knocking down your door to give you millions of dollars to get your ass in the gym. So you guys are gonna need another strong incentive for getting into shape. But what could be as motivating as a seven figure payday? Well, how about not dying? How about staying on this earth long enough to see your children grow up and have their own children? How about waking up every day with the energy and strength to follow your dreams? Or how about improving your mental health to the point where you can actually enjoy the short time that you have on this planet? All of these are examples of powerful why statements. Your why statement, or more simply put, your why, is a statement of purpose that describes why you do the work that you do and why you live the lifestyle that you do. It's something that keeps you motivated and pushing forward in the face of adversity. It is something that you can fall back on when you hear your 5 a.m. gym alarm go off and you ask yourself, why the fuck am I doing this? In Jason's case, it was because there was a million dollar bag waiting for him at the gym. And for you, it might be because you want to build an attractive, capable body that you can rely on that will carry you to success in many aspects of life. The point of all this is that getting into amazing shape, making a lot of money, or doing really anything else worth doing is a fucking lot of work. So you better have a good reason to want those things. So set aside some time, sit down and do some serious introspection so you can figure out what your why statement is, what motivates you because that could be the why that will carry you towards greatness and achieving all of your wildest dreams. Okay, that's enough um, motivational speaking. Now, as promised, you can find the fully detailed free Jason Momoa inspired workout PDF via the link in the description of this video. But keep in mind that this is a program that's a little bit more advanced. So if you're a beginner, go check out my 17 week at home bodyweight training program first, and then you can move on to one of my more advanced programs. Now make sure to like the video, subscribe if you liked it, and then go check out my video on how Tom Hardy got huge to play Bane. It was pretty crazy, involved a lot of pizza, and I'll see you there.